Risen is kind of like that kid that your cousin brings to a family reunion despite everyone begging him not to. The little bitch annoys you and frustrates you all to hell and back and you want to bash his head against the wall a little bit but at one point or another you realize that a little bugger is actually kind of cute. That's Risen in a nutshell, the game that you'll either drop one hour in due to insane amounts of anger and frustration or you'll play long enough to see its charm and eventually have sex with it. And to reason, a world where games favorite answer to every single one of your honest efforts is not just yet. No, seriously, you'll hit so many brick fucking walls as you try to figure out what the fuck you're even supposed to do, it's, it's not even funny. Oh, you think that little wolfie out there is just there so you can kill it and feel like a badass? Think again! Oh, you think that opening in the mountain is an early game dungeon with some sweet loot? Think fucking again. Risen, at least at the start, is one of the most frustrating games I've ever had a chance of playing. This baldy fuck of a hero that you play as can't do jack shit. For 5 hours you feel completely fucking naked as every single mob out there where it'll kill you or make you sweat your balls off as you try to get that shiny chest it's guarding. The first thing you realize is that none of the NPCs in the game are actually your best friends. It's a quick save button. You'll be practically saving after every two minutes or after you beat in a single mob. Everyone around you keeps giving you a finger, even the game itself, no matter how much effort you put into it. The game pits you against OP character that you have no chance in hell of beating but fails to mention that you can do it the other way and you'll never know unless you look it up on Google or you're anal enough to constantly talk with all the NPCs to see what's up like myself. What the game calls chapter 1 in its narrative is in reality a massive fucking struggle to do anything. Starved of gold, gear, decent weapon levels and items, I felt tempted at every fucking corner to just give up. However, unlike let's say Dark Souls, Risen is not challenging in the same way. Enemy's AI is completely fucking brain dead and the only way to progress early on is to exploit that brain deadness to all hell and mobs don't exactly respawn if you sleep through night. However, because the game basically tells you jack shit at the start and because you'll be so starved of gold at the start you'll wanna cry, you'll be selling basically everything you can find not knowing that those items aren't actually junk. So all that gold that you earn from selling junk will be spent buying that junk back at ridiculously higher prices and it is at this point you'll be punching monitors and screaming bloody marys because you can't take it anymore. Throughout the entire playthrough of the game you'll never want to take on more than two mobs at the same time because it'll either take decades to do it or which is more likely, you'll fucking die. Camera is shit, leveling is annoying, even finding fucking NPCs that decided to hide themselves just cause everything in reason screams at you. STOP FUCKING PLAYING ME! Yet, why the fuck am I recommending this game? Past all of this frustration, once you actually start understanding the game and its mechanics, and once you get some items and levels under you, the game is actually pretty good. Combat turns satisfying, pairing at just the right time feels rewarding, and let's not forget that looking badass as fuck is always a plus. Getting to beat the shit out of the characters that annoyed you, bypass all the restrictions that game put on you cause you're a fucking noob, all of these things are immensely satisfying. Knowing that you can probably beat the living shit out of both factions all by your lonesome is one of the feelings you simply can't ignore when it comes to Risen. All the mechanics the game has frustrated you at the start with suddenly become its shining light. You'll be drowning in gold, you'll be one-shotting those fuck faces of birds that took years to kill at the start and you'll have so many spells that you won't know what to do with them. All of this culminates in an RPG that rewards patience and skill over speed and badassery. Cause <laughs> let me tell you something. You won't be feeling like a badass and risen for a long time. You'll feel like a lesser thing that is norms you're supposed to kill. But if you give the game some time, it all shifts around. I can't call Risen a guilty pleasure because it's really not. It's a well done game, albeit slightly different than your traditional RPGs nowadays. What does hold it back though are its god awful fucking sequels that have absolutely nothing to do with the original game and basically just shit on everything that made the original fun. So if you're dry on decent RPGs and looking for something that takes time, patience and is extremely rewarding once you get it, 
pick reason up, survive through its first 15-ish hours where you're basically no one and nothing and feel rewarded once you actually do become someone and something. It's one of the games that does this progression at the highest level as the contrast between your character in the first 10 hours and in the latest parts of the game is so insane you'll have forgotten you were ever even a pushover pussy. Risen is a good sort of a pun name for this game and you'll be missing out on a lot if you don't check it out. Except skeletons. Seriously. Fuck skeletons.